meaning of that phrase. Eric Olson reports. I never ever paint anything dark, never. We have so much sadness and things, and who wants to paint that? Not me, that's for sure. In his Fort Wayne apartment, Charles Sizemore Simmers paints the world as he thinks it should be. Because it makes me happy. You know, when they look at my stuff, I want people to see happiness. Orphaned at an early age, beset with health problems, the world looked very bleak to Charles much of his life until he discovered art. And looking at his bright, cheerful, optimistic paintings, you never know he ever felt anything oh, no. but joy. His paintings okay, are did. primitive, Charles is self-taught, but the highly detailed, bright, colorful pictures will make even the most determined curmudgeon smile. His vases of flowers are most stunning, handsome vessels, often inhabited by wildlife and topped with an explosion of color. But everything Charles paints is impressive and usually tells a story, one the viewer delights in reading. Churches, inviting to both the faithful and not so faithful, the churchyards bursting with color and always inhabited by creatures doing what creatures do. An Indiana farmhouse, neat and prim, fresh produce for sale in the front yard. Even the occasional portrait, this is Princess Diana strolling in front of a royal residence, the royal gardens shimmering in the background. This is primitive art, but there are degrees of primitive, from very bad to very good, and over the years, this artist has made his way from one to the other. I have a folder I went through and was looking at some of my early work, and it was just, yeah, see you, Eric, it looks terrible. Charles began to paint his therapy in the way to fight off deep depression, but therapy has blossomed into passion for people, for critters, for life. Not yet ideal life for Charles Sizemore Simmers, but getting closer with every picture he paints. You know, had I not had my art, I don't think I would be here. I think I would be probably in the grave. Art as lifesaver in this corner of 21 Country, this is Eric Olson reporting.